Well, it could be time to face the music. Uh, for one legendary producer, a music producer, for four years after a B-movie actress was shot to death inside his home, jury selection is underway in the murder trial of Phil Spector. He's accused of killing Lana Clarkson with a gunshot to the face. His driver told a grand jury that Spectre was holding a gun in his bloodied hands when he ran out of the home. The coroner was, has said that it was homicide, but left open the possibility that Clarkson could have pulled the trigger. And there will be cameras in the courtroom for one of Hollywood's biggest trials. With us now from Mountain View, California, former prosecutor Stephen Clark. And here in Studio B is the defense, is a defense attorney, Andrew Smiley. You know, Andrew, to me, one of the most interesting things about all of this is the attorney that they've got in there. Certainly. I think it's a brilliant decision the defense made in bringing in Bruce Cutler. Right here from New York City, famous trial attorney. He's known for his take-no-prisoners, uh, pitbull-type tactics. And what he's going to do, instead of being on the defensive, he's going to fly there to L.A., go in that courtroom, and go on the offensive. He's going to attack the prosecutors. He's going to attack their witnesses. He's going to attack the evidence. And he'll even attack the judge if that's what it takes to get Phil Spector acquitted. And, I, and that's what I think he's going to do. I wonder if there's the, even the possibility of that sort of thing happening, Stephen. Acquittal. Well, he's got to be very careful because most of the witnesses in this case are going to be women and the, and the victim is a woman. I think you're going to see the prosecution try to get a lot of female jurors on the jury because they're going to empathize with what she went through. And when they bring in these other females who had had guns pointed at them by Mr. Spector, if he attacks every one of them and calls them a liar, that could really backfire. Now, the first thing he did was claim that he had shot someone. I mean, that was his first statement, wasn't it, Stephen, from the prosecutor's perspective? Absolutely. He said it not only to the driver, but he also said it in passing to a police officer uh, during uh, his arrest. So that's what they're going to go with. Now it's back to uh, Mr. Spector saying that it's a suicide. Now, what person goes out on a first date and commits suicide? I don't think the jury's going to believe that. <laughs> Even, well, that hair, I don't know. That's, seriously, though, it, it, this, that's going to be tough to overcome, isn't it? Well, there's so much reasonable doubt as far as I see it here. Don't forget, the prosecution has to prove to 12 people, convince them all there's no other scenario that could have taken place here. Bruce Cutler goes in there, and he can paint a picture of this castle in Beverly Hills, the middle of the night, a music mogul, cocktails, guns, uh, sex. We don't know what was going on in there, and that's a very important point that's going to be made and be highlighted. It is going to be tough to get past from a defense attorney's perspective, though, the fact that he told two people he just shot a lady. Well, again, we don't know. Easy. Well, he had alcohol, and we don't know how drunk he was. We don't know what his motive might have been for saying one thing or another. This right, is what but the evidence Andrew, is going well, to show. How do you explain, An Andrew, how do you explain that there's this struggle with a gun? Where does she get the gun, and why does she agree to have a drink with Phil Spector, and the next thing you know, she's dead in his hallway? Well, we I don't mean, know that. We, don't, we don't know sense. what was going on there. We don't, well, know whether she liked, we don't know whether she liked to play with guns. We don't know whether they were sitting there and drinking and, and thought it was sexy to fondle this gun. We don't know what well, was happening. Well, why didn't Mr. Spector say any of that at the time? That's going to be a problem. He's saying it was an accidental suicide. Good questions all. We'll keep you updated on this trial as it begins. Thank you.